What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have one of my favorite videos of any year and that is grading the New Orleans Saints draft class. This year of course is 2021. The draft is just concluded so we're going to be grading every single pick of this draft class. After today we'll be going over all of our undrafted free agents as I'm sure you guys are so excited to talk about. We'll be doing half of them tomorrow and half of them the day after. Uh, but today the draft these picks will be graded off of three categories potential need and value value is just if we got them at the right pick if that makes any sense so of course we're going to go with the first pick of the draft that is round one pick 28 where the new orleans saints selected defensive end peyton turner now I'll say it again the saints did not go by position of need here it seems like peyton turner was very high on their draft board and they took him where they believed was good value He's a very good and athletic prospect who stands at 6'6", 296 pounds. He is the same similar build as Cameron Jordan, which the Saints absolutely love. They love their big defensive end. In 36 games over four seasons, Peyton Turner had a 114 total tackles, 23.5 tackles for loss, 9.5 sacks, and an interception as well. So, what's the grade? Here comes potential. In this department, he gets an A+. This player can be absolutely fantastic and has all the intangibles to be one of the league's best. I'm really interested to see how the Saints develop him. When it comes to need, I'm going to give this pick a solid C+. The Saints absolutely did not need to draft a defensive end in the first round. It was definitely a necessity deeper in the draft, but first round talent should have been placed at cornerback or even wide receiver. Like those were two bigger needs than defensive end here. The plus comes from the fact that he can play anywhere on the defensive line and the fact that we did lose Trey Hendrickson. He wasn't a necessity, but he has his place on the team. It's just hard to see him getting 400 plus snaps his rookie year, but we will simply have to see. As far as value goes, I'm going to give this one a B minus. I don't think he needed to be picked at 28, but you guys know that already. I've said it already. I think it was a tad bit of a reach. So the final grade for this prospect that I'll be giving, Peyton Turner, the New Orleans Saints first round pick, I'm going to give this pick a B. Let's move on to the next one. Round two, pick 60 is the next one we got. The New Orleans Saints selected linebacker Pete Werner. The Saints desperately needed a linebacker, and Pete Werner was the one to answer that call. In 39 games over four seasons, Pete Werner had 185 total tackles, 16 tackles for loss, four sacks, and 13 passes defended. He is above average and in coverage and fits the Saints' needs to a T. Let's go ahead and look at his potential. Here, I gave him a B plus. Pete moved extremely well during his pro day, but that movement wasn't really shown in his 39 games at Ohio State. He is 6'3", 238 pounds, so he isn't huge and shouldn't be struggling in that manner. He needs to learn how to transfer his speed into pads. I think potential, he has a really high ceiling, but a really low floor, so I'm going to give him a B+. Need. I'm going to give Pete Warner an A+. The Saints lost both Quan Alexander and Alex Anzalone this offseason, so linebacker was an absolute need. He should start ASAP next to Demario Davis. Value. Some people think there were better linebackers here, so it's up in the air. I'm going to give value a B for Pete Warner. Final grade. I'm going to give this an A-. minus. I think he was a great pick for the New Orleans Saints. He fits their system very well. He fits their scheme. We needed him desperately, and he's going to be a day one starter. A- minus for Pete Warner. Let's move on to the next pick. The next pick, with the 76th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New Orleans Saints traded up to snag Paulson Adebo. This was an awesome pick, my favorite of the draft by far, and that's probably a shared opinion among many Saints fans. It was worth the trade up when it comes to the pay on paper, uh, but we have to see if it will translate into actual NFL play. Let's get to grading. Potential, A++. Paulson Adebo has probably the most insane ball skills I've ever seen coming from a college prospect at corner. He had 34 passes defended over 22 games, which sounds literally ridiculous, but it's true. He has strong football instincts. He has an extreme ball hawk personality, just an all-around fantastic player. The thing here, he is an extremely raw prospect, and I say that as, as literally as I can. He's very, very raw. The negatives he does have, like his ability to get beat, can be fixed, so his development process is critical. He may or may not start day one, but either way will become an essential piece to this New Orleans Saints defense at some point in time. Need, A+. 
Don't even need to go over this. The Saints desperately needed a corner. Value, A+. Paulson Adebo was projected to be a first-round pick in 2019 before sitting out of the 2020 season due to COVID concerns. We got him in the third round. That's all I need to say about that. Grade, A+. Very high on Paulson Adebo. I feel like the Saints made a brilliant decision to trade up to get him, and I feel like he can be a way, way, way out-of-this-world valued pick because we got him in the third round. Could have been a first-round pick if he played during that 2020 season. Raw prospect, but has insane ball skills. He used to play wide receiver, so he can play the ball really, really well. I'm high on this pick, and I'm really, really, really excited to see Paulson Adebo play. Let's move on to the next pick. The next pick, we have round four. And that's when the New Orleans Saints selected quarterback Ian Book from Notre Dame. This is a bit of a controversial pick. A lot of people aren't huge fans of this one. Sean Payton loves him, but that doesn't mean too, too much as far as the fan perspective goes. We're going to go and get over, go over the potential here. I'm going to give that a solid C. C flat. Nothing about Ian Book really screams starting quarterback to me, and that isn't me just hating on this pick. He simply will probably never be a starter. He looks like a career backup in film. He doesn't have the arm to be a career starter, in my opinion, and he recently joined a very crowded quarterback room with Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill. Um, need, I'm going to go B minus, and I give it a higher a bit of a grade from a C to a B minus is because the Saints kind of needed a quarterback, but just for one reason only. Letting Taysom Hill run loose. This allows Sean Payton to use Taysom more loosely because without him, Taysom would heavily be relied on in case of injury to Jameis Winston. Value, I'm going to give this one a C as well. I could have seen Book being selected 40 to 60 picks further than we grabbed him. Um, so for overall grade, I'm going to give this a C. Not the biggest fan of the Ian Book pick, but I do think it has its place. It's a bit necessary. The Saints needed another quarterback. So yeah, I'm going to give this a C. Let's move on to the next pick. The next pick in round six, the New Orleans Saints took offensive tackle Landon Young. Don't think I dislike offensive linemen here, but I'm not going to go tier by tier with Landon like I've done with everyone else because for offensive line, it's pretty cut and dry in my opinion. It's either you're good or you're not, and I think he's good. We have Ryan Ramshake and Teron Armstead who don't have super long on their contracts left, and God forbid we lose one of them, we're going to need someone to have to fill in that spot. He started 30 games in the SEC. He was actually one of the best linemen in pass and run blocking last year. Fourth in pass, 10th in run blocking. So that's a very good metric right there. I'm going to give this pick an A. Very good value for a very good depth player. Awesome pick. This player could definitely be a starting offensive lineman in the NFL one day. Look for that to be happening. The Saints love grabbing really, really, really good offensive linemen late in the draft. So I'm excited about this pick. Let's move on to the final one. Final pick of the 2021 NFL Draft. The Saints did something Saints fans were calling for them to do. They drafted a wide receiver, and they picked wide receiver Kawan Baker. Kawan Baker is an interesting prospect. The Saints needed a good, speedy slot wide receiver outside of Deontay Harris, who would have had his bill full being an all-pro returner and a full-time slot receiver. And Kawan fits this bill. At 6'1", 215, Kawan ran a 4.41 40-yard dash. In 10 games, he had 51 receptions for 659 yards and 8 touchdowns. He also averaged 7.1 yards after contact and four 16 missed tackles last season. Potential? I'll give this one an A-. If he fixes his hands, he can be a really good pickup. He's quick, can make people miss, he just drops a good bit of passes. Value? I'm going to give this one a B. I'm neutral here. He was a seventh round pick. There isn't a ton of crazy value there, so B, I feel like, is a pretty fair ranking. Need, I'm going to give this an A. I don't think he will be better than Deontay Harris, but he is another camp body that will battle for a position that the New Orleans Saints desperately need. So for Kawan Baker, I'm going to go ahead and give him a B. Plus. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this draft class. Let me know what you think about each pick. Grade them yourselves. Let me see what your guys' grades are. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be going over undrafted free agents tomorrow and look for a stream coming soon. Just got to find time for it, but I promise you I'll be in a stream to hang out with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios.